This video is made possible with the help of light. The light from the sun and my equipments is falling on this whiteboard and getting reflected to this camera, to your phone and finally to your eyes. And that's how you are able to see this image. The speed of light is 300,000 km per second. Now that is pretty fast. The speed of sound is around 1200 km per hour. Okay, we all know this, but what is the speed of electricity? You already have noticed, when we turn the switch of the light on, the light instantaneously turns on. So electricity must be very fast. Let us demonstrate this with the help of an individual electron. As electricity is just the flow of electrons, right? Here is an electron moving in a conductor in real time. The electron is moving but very slowly, so you cannot make it out moving. These electrons move through a conductor with a certain drift velocity, which for an electron is about 0.0007 meters per second. The reason electricity is so fast is that the speed of electric current is about 96% the speed of light. This is because it is not a single electron, but millions, billions and trillions of electrons flowing through a conductor. The individual electron is pushed by the other electrons behind them. Just imagine it like a water pipe. When we turn the tap on, water comes out instantaneously because the water which is ahead is pushed by the water behind it. Let us read this sentence from a school's textbook. A stream of electrons moving through a conductor constitutes an electric current. Conventionally, the direction of current is taken opposite to the direction of flow of electrons. But why? Why opposite to the direction of electrons? The flow of negative electrons through a conductor is called as an electron current, which means that these electrons will get repelled from the negative terminal and get attracted to the positive terminal. The conventional current is the flow of positive charges, exactly opposite of the electron current. This was used at the time when electric current was discovered because electron as a particle was not discovered. The reason we still use this is because it doesn't matter which way the electrons are flowing. Until this current is used consistently in a course or a textbook, the flow of electrons does not affect what the current does. The NCERT textbook uses the electron current. Have you ever wondered how electricity reaches our home? Of course not. But here's how. At first, the flow of electrons starts at the electricity power plant through overhead wires made of aluminium, which are supported by pylons, or they also come through underground cables. These wires pass into a meter, which bills you for the amount of electricity used. Then it again passes through a fuse. This fuse is just to protect the household appliances from getting destroyed from a surge of electric current. Here is how it works. A fuse is basically a metal strip or wire, which has a certain resistance. And if there is an electric current which cuts the resistance of it, it melts and therefore making all the house and appliances safe from the surge. The potential difference across our home and the power plant is 220 volts. The wires are of two types, live which is red and neutral which is black. The wires which come to our home may be different by the amount of current they provide. For example, 15 amperes of current for appliances with higher power rating, such as air conditioners, geysers and microwave ovens. There is one another wire called the earth wire, which is usually green in color. Here is what it does and why do we call it a ground wire. A ground wire is always with the live and neutral wire. It basically prevents you from getting electric shocks. When there is an exposed wire which is accidentally cut, there are chances that this live wire will conduct electricity to any appliance with a metallic case. But luckily, the earth wire connects to the metallic case and allows the leaked electricity to pass in the opposite direction in the breaker, then into the transformer and finally to the ground. This closes the circuit and prevents you from getting an electric shock. Thank you my cute earth. Remember one thing, we don't pay electricity board for giving us electrons, but for the energy to make the electrons flow.
So if we don't use this energy, we don't pay for it. If we don't convert this electrical energy into mechanical, light, heat or any other energy, we don't pay for it. Listen all parents, turning the switch on with nothing plugged in or turning the switch on with a charger connected to it which is not connected to anything won't use electricity if that makes any sense and we will not pay for it. This is a common misconception which most of the people in India have because in countries like Japan or Canada don't have switches because their sockets are much more safer.